Harry's wife. The Sadim touch. She fails at everything. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. You are familiar with King Midas. Everything he touched turned to gold. Harry's wife has the reverse version, the Sadim touch, where everything she touches turns to shit because she's fucking useless. Don't believe me? Well, I'm going to provide you with a comprehensive run-through of her many failings. It's not exhaustive, because to list the many things that she's tried and failed at would mean that I'd be here all week. Nevertheless, the examples I'm going to provide you with demonstrate just how useless she is. That somebody can be given every opportunity, every privilege, every advantage, and still manages to fuck it up. As the saying goes, she wouldn't be able to organise a piss-up in a brewery. If she were a man and fell into a tub of tits, she'd come up sucking her thumb because she's so useless. Whatever she does ends up being laughed at, derided, going nowhere, or collapsing. Accordingly, make sure your teeth are firmly in your mouth, that you're not consuming any food or drink, and settle back, and allow the stentorian velvety tones of your glorious narrator to guide you through the many examples of Harry's wife and the Sadim touch. We start off with the bench. Yes, she's a failed author. A book that was accused of being a copy of another publication, The Boy on the Bench. A book supposedly written for children, but the content of which would induce a catatonic state in a child. Witness the reaction of the children that she read the book to in New York. They were bored shitless. They were sat there thinking, why have our teachers invited Chairman Mao to come and read this dross to us? Why are they subjecting us to the full horror of this bronze woman who shimmied in here wearing a lot of bling and then is crapping on about some book that makes no sense to us. Lord, take me now. The YouTube reading of this book was even worse. It produced a tsunami of thumbs down because people found the reading boring, nauseating, and dull. And rumour has it, that this contributed to the removal of the appearance of the thumbs-down number on YouTube videos. So not only does she create a boring book that is meant to be for children but actually isn't, but when she reads it, she destroys part of YouTube. The Tig, a self-indulgent fantasy fest of internet-scoured and plagiarised content with vacuous interviews with unknown individuals, freebie holiday reports, and a level of writing best suited to a try-hard school magazine. You want to sample the TIG? Watch my videos, The Stig. At least I make it entertaining amidst all of the beige droning that she engages in. The Royal Family she managed 72 days of royal duties. Whoopie fucking do. Given every advantage in terms of offers, for instance, from Queen Camilla, as she is now, to help her fit into royal life. Given an entire staff to help her understand the way the royal family works. Given a warm welcome by members of the royal family, even walked down the aisle by her soon-to-be father-in-law. 
embraced by the British public and given a chance. And yet, for all of that, can muster just 72 days of royal duties and in that time actually managed to break royal protocol 72 times. Good record, once a day, hmm? She succeeded in alienating almost the entire royal family with invented racism allegations, resulting in the Queen, near her death, describing Harry's wife as evil. Thought it appropriate to smear the royal family whilst Prince Philip was on his deathbed and thereafter complain that his illness was overshadowing her interview. Completely failed to do the royal thing. The actress. Multiple bit parts with one or two lines in each production she appeared in. Starred, apparently, in two Hallmark films. Wow. Purportedly undertaken porn work. Was a briefcase girl, and the only role of note that she had was in something called Suits, which she has banged on ever since about, and most people were unaware of this cable television. Philanth philanthropist. Sets up a foundation, which she only works at one hour a week. Hijacks other people's endeavours by causing them to partner with Archwell, and then piggybacking what they achieve as to claim that she caused it to happen. Copies the 4040 scheme, which fizzles out as soon as it begins, heralded with an idiotic performance at home involving Ms. McCarthy and the clown juggling his balls outside a window. Shows charity by having a lackey throw granola bars at homeless people. Bananatarian. Writes fridge magnet platitudes on bananas for sex workers, leading to multiple astonishments. Swoops in for a photo shoot opportunity at Uvalde, where children had recently been massacred in a mass shooting, bringing along with her photographers and a film crew and stale sandwiches, attempts to enter a school and a medical facility and is roundly told to get stuffed. Stages a photo shoot at a cemetery for Remembrance Day. Induces comas whenever she gives a speech, most notable of which the snooze fest which was her appearance at Bridgewater Hall in Manchester. Politics. Cold calls senators. Gets laughed at writes a letter concerning parental leave, and does the square root of fuck all thereafter. Apparently was going to march on Washington with Gloria Steinem. But then nothing happens. Are you getting the feel yet? Are you understanding the power of this woman's Sadim touch? Already, author, influencer, Royal family, actress, philanthropist, bananatarian, politician. She's failed at every single one. The bench only sold copies as a consequence of a rump of the sugars and Oprah when she was chums with Harry's wife buying it by the boatload. Apparently now it's being hidden with all of the Atari ET games. The TIG over-egged in terms of its reach, and repeatedly resurrected as a possibility for her to now create a new lifestyle brand, Aping Goop, probably going to be called Poop, because that's about as good as it will get. Repeatedly bangs on about suits, because everything else she did in the acting world was either sucky-sucky or wanky-wanky. Her philanthropism and her bananatarianism are laughable. 
and there were repeated rumblings about her entering politics to become a senator or even the president of the United States, which, of course, induces anybody who comments about politics seriously to wet themselves laughing. This is the Sadim touch, but I've not finished yet. Oh, no. Join me in the second part of the listings of the many failures of Harry's wife as she exhibits again and again and again her Sadim touch. <laughs>